Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and uh, today we've got another unboxing. To be honest, I think I know what this is, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to open up the box and see what we got. There's a FedEx envelope in here with the turn instructions. And yes, this is a product from Hewlett Packard which means that this is going to be the HP 5101. Now this is uh, something that Hewlett Packard considers to be sort of a business class netbook. Uh, this is a review unit, which means I'm not the first person to have opened this box and things might not be exactly what you get in a retail unit on the inside, but let's take a look anyway and see what we shall see. Uh, around the sides of the box yeah, it's an okay looking box. It's a black box, has HP Mini. No pictures of the unit itself. Um, some uh, some specifications on the outside, but not a lot of information. And uh, so let's open it up and see where the good stuff is. So, first let's uh, take out a power cable, three prong adapter, or three prong power. Um, Power brick, battery here, and this is a 55 watt hour battery. It's got a sort of rubberized feel on the bottom of it, which is uh, a little different from what you often get. That's it for this compartment, so let's take out the computer itself. We'll take a closer look at that momentarily. Let's just finish opening up this box to see what else is inside. At the bottom, there's uh, some choking instructions about the bag, uh, getting started guide, uh, support information, warranty information, and that's about it. So let's go ahead take a closer look at the laptop itself. Now you can see there's a sort of island style keyboard here. So the keys are separated a little bit. Some nice space between them. The keyboard's a little bit larger than on some of the other uh, HP netbooks. And you can see it actually goes almost all the way to the edge. These last keys, there's just a few millimeters between the keys and the edge of the keyboard. Um, also, unlike some earlier netbook models from HP, you've got a nice wide touchpad with two distinct buttons underneath the touchpad instead of to the left and the right. So I figured out how to cram a little bit of extra space on there. The lid is metal. This is a, I believe this is a magnesium alloy. It's fairly lightweight, but very sturdy. And very light without the battery. Let's go ahead and put the battery in. Still, I have to say, it's a pretty lightweight computer. Around the sides, we've got an SD card slot, audio, uh, headphone and microphone, USB, Ethernet, uh, lock port, nothing on the back because you got a battery back there, uh, power, VGA, fan, two USBs, that's about it. On the front here, we've got a wireless toggle, some, uh, looks like some vents or speakers, something down here. Now on the bottom, one of the, thing that's, one of the things that's really interesting about this particular model, and I know I've shown this in another video, but I'm going to show it again. If you squeeze together the battery release, the battery pops right out. But if you squeeze them again when the battery's already out, the RAM access panel actually opens right up. So you don't even need a screwdriver to, up to upgrade the RAM from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabytes. Uh, like most netbooks that ship with Windows XP, this model does come with a single uh, 1 gigabyte module, but you can upgrade quite easily. Okay, actually, getting this in is a little bit harder than getting it out. So, let's pop that back in. Pop you in. And there we go. See, there's some battery power in here. Boot it up.
Around the top, we've got a uh, microphone and a uh, webcam. A uh, nice illuminated um, LED here. Some status LEDs that almost blend right in with the, uh, the top here. They're, they're not OLED or anything, but they're very smooth. It's a nice large shift key, which I like. We've got two control keys, one function key. Uh, arrow keys over here. Function key will control uh, brightness, volume, mute, a couple of other functions. And uh, that boots pretty quickly. One of the things that, uh, that also makes the HP 5101 different from other netbooks is the fact that it actually has a 7200 RPM hard drive, uh, which is significantly faster than the hard drives that you'll find in most netbooks, which usually come with 5400 RPM, or in some cases even 4200 RPM. Uh, this netbook is also available with a high quality solid state disk. Uh, and when I say high quality, what I mean is significantly faster performance than the cheap you know, 16 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte SSDs that you'll find in earlier uh, low cost netbooks. So the, uh, the, high cost and the high quality SSD is actually high cost as well. Uh, almost doubles the price of the netbook if you want to get one of those. But it uh, should improve performance even more than the fast hard drive. Anyways, that's about it for now. This is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and I'll have more details on my website and on this YouTube channel in the future about the HP Mini 5101.